If I had to describe Zhao Chu in one sentence, it would be a very normal character. So I'm a totally normal guy. I'm, I'm the normal one, maybe, if you want this. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while since Hoyoverse introduced a character without any gimmicky mechanics, and now we have one. Zhao Chu is a fire nihility character who specializes in applying a vulnerability status called Ashen Roast. Ashen Roast is a stackable debuff that lasts for two turns, causing enemies afflicted by it to suffer the following effects. At one stack, the damage they receive increases by 15%. Each subsequent stack adds 5%, capping at five stacks for a maximum vulnerability of 35%. Additionally, those afflicted by Ashen Roast take burn damage equal to 180% of Zhao Xu's attack at level 10. And that's it. That's what Zhao Xu's gameplay is all about. Very, very simple. If we just look at the number, his debuff may seem underwhelming for a premium character. Compared to a free character like Pela, who has a 42% defense shred, Zhao Xu's Ashen Roast only promises a 6% damage increase. This has led to some debates and doom posts regarding Zhao Chu's value within the community, and I can understand why. However, I don't think that is the right perspective, as I believe his strength lies in how quickly and consistently he can stack his debuffs. His basic attack, skill, and ultimate all have a 100% base chance to apply Ashen Roast. The basic attack is a normal single target attack like any other. While the skill is a blast attack with the main target having a 100% base chance of receiving one extra Ashen Roast. That's a bit of a bummer, but his ultimate more than makes up for it. When using his ultimate, Zhao Chu sets the number of Ashen Roast stacks on all enemy targets to the highest number present on the battlefield. So if one enemy has five stacks, every enemy will also receive five stacks. In addition, his ultimate creates a zone that lasts for three turns. Enemies within this zone receive 15% increased ultimate damage and have a 60% base chance of being inflicted with one stack of Ashen Roast when they take action. This effect can trigger up to six times per zone activation, with each enemy target can only trigger once per turn. If Zhao Qiu gets knocked down, this zone will disappear. Considering his ultimate only requires 100 energy to activate and one of his traces grants 15 energy at the start of the battle, he can unleash his zone right after his first action if he's equipped with an energy recharge rope. Once the zone is active, it sets the stage for a certain monster named Acheron. You see, Acheron's ultimate is unlike any other. It doesn't require meter, but rather points. She can only use her ultimate after accumulating nine points of Slashed Dream, which is gained each time a debuff is inflicted on an enemy target. Typically, debuffers apply debuffs when they take action creating a gap between each application. However, Zhao Xu's zone allows him to inflict debuffs passively. Whenever an enemy moves, there's a chance they'll be afflicted with Ashen Roast, which counts as one slashed dream point for Acheron. That's pretty insane, right? If there are five enemies on the field, Acheron could instantly gain five slashed dream points during the enemy's turns. This dramatically increases the frequency at which Acheron can use her ultimate, let me show you just how quickly Acheron can get her ultimate using a free-to-play team featuring Zhao Qiu.
I believe that the team isn't optimal, and my playstyle with Acheron is far from perfect since this is my first time using her. However, even with limited experience, getting two cycles and seeing yourself that she could unleash her ultimate every turn proves my point. Now let's talk about his gear selection. The game recommends a four-piece prisoner set combined with pan-galactic ornaments, which is a solid choice. Zhao Xu is a DOT character, and these sets are tailored for that playstyle, so it makes sense to equip them. However, if you want to prioritize speed, you can mix and match any relic with an attack buff as the two-piece bonus alongside a two-piece messenger set. The top two stat priorities for Zhao Xu are effect, hit rate, and speed. His ultimate's effect, which inflicts Ash and Roast on enemies during their turns, is crucial to his gameplay. The thing is, it only has a 60% base chance to proc. To ensure this effect consistently works against elite enemies and bosses, you'll need a total of 180% effect hit rate. I know that's a lot. His traces provide 28% effect hit rate, and he gets another 43.2% from the chest piece, plus 10% from the pan-galactic set, totaling 81% effect hit rate. So, where do you get the remaining 100%? Light Cone, of course. Several light cones offer an effect hit rate bonus, with his signature light cone being the top choice, providing a massive 60% effect hit rate. As for the free-to-play option, Tutorial Light Cone or Eyes of the Prey are your best bets. You will still need 60% effect hit rate from substats. So pray to Jesus or whatever you pray to for 15% effect hit rate subs on every piece. Don't worry too much about sacrificing damage for effect hit rate. His damage output isn't high to begin with, and it's more important for him to stay alive and keep applying Ash and Roast. Besides, his kit includes an effect hit rate to attack buff conversion. Very nice. Long story short, Zhao Xu is a Nihility character who seems to truly shine in Acheron team. But not everyone plays Acheron. So the big question is, when we take him out of his comfort zone, is he still worth the investment? Stay tuned, because next video will put him in extreme stress tests.